Okay guys, today I can show you a really cool tool for MetaQuest. It's called Citra VR. It's from the maker of um, Oculus Air Link, Amanda Watson. And th this, this tool, with this tool you can play native 3DS games on the MetaQuest. You can install it and play it on the MetaQuest. Citra VR is the 3DS emulator. Really cool. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DE VR. Thank you to my sponsors, Woodlose VR, Open Events and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de Okay guys, and let's check out what we have to do. So we need side quests to do this. I already made a tutorial on how to set up side quests. Yeah, I, I will not show it again, it's a longer procedure. Uh, I will link it in the description and in the info cards now. So what you're gonna do is download SideQuest, you can find the link in the description, connect your quest via cable, and then inside the quest you have to confirm something that you uh, um, activate the developer mode, and then here when you open SideQuest on your PC, it has to be green light. You see that here. And after that, you have to download Citra VR. This is an APK file that you can find here. As soon as I have the official link, I will put it in the description below. Then you can download Citra VR APK. What you're gonna do in SideQuest now, when the quest is connect, click on this here, on this uh, arrow, and then select the Citra VR APK. Click on open, and then here it says installing APK. Uh, I wait until it's green. Here it's already green. It says APK installed OK. Yeah, that's it. And after that, you will go for your, you disconnect your quest three and connect it again to get uh, into the file system. You have to confirm inside the headset that you can access the files. You do that with the controller. Yeah confirm it uh, inside the quest and then you can get into the file system of the quest. You see that here, here and here you have to create a new folder. Yeah, so just in Windows click here on create new folder and you can name it whatever you want but you have to remember it because inside the app you have to find it. So I named it 3DS games. That makes sense, right? So, and then go inside this folder. And inside this folder, you have to copy the game files, yeah? And there are different files like uh, 3DSX or 3D or something like CEA or CEO or something like that. Um, these are the games that you have to download, of course. And here is the thing. This is, when you just download it somewhere, the ROM, then it's not legal. Please be aware of that. You, you are not allowed to just download that. Yeah? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure 95% of you don't give a shit about that, but I just want to tell it to you. It's not legal. Yeah? So, what you're gonna, you need the cartridge of the 3DS, uh, 3DS um, game, and then you, it's more legal to download that because you have the license. Yeah? Um, so, Therefore, I cannot link a page in the description where you can download the ROMs. It's not legal and you have to Google it for yourself. So Google for um, download 3DS ROMs or something like that. And you ha have to find it yourself, please. Yeah. And then download the game that you want, uh, Super Mario, Animal Crossing, whatever. Yeah. So I downloaded a game that is legal, that it's not by Nintendo. It's from uh, a developer uh, who made it like homebrew for homebrew and stuff. Uh, it's called uh, Killer Man uh, Ghost Hunter or something like that. It's, uh, this is a legal app that's not from Nintendo. Um, just copy the file then when you download it into this folder that you created. Here it is. Yeah. And then you can download like 20 games and then copy it uh, here in this folder uh, as long as the quest is connected here. So copy everything here inside and then finally you can disconnect your quest um, and then I will show you what you have to do inside the quest. Okay guys and what you're gonna do here, we are inside the quest here 
it's a quest three, but you can also do it with other quests. I think quest two, perhaps even quest one. So you go to your library and then here select unknown sources. And here you can find Citra. You see that? And um, when you first open that, you have to select the folder. It will look like, uh, I think like this here. And then you will select the folder that we created, like here, 3DS games. Then here, use this folder, uh, grant access, click OK. And then you will see all the games that you copied here. For me, it's only this one. Yeah, and then you just have to click trigger. And there we go. Now yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it looks like um, pass through mode here. Yeah, and here is the game. Just press start. Yeah, you can also uh, switch it a little bit when you want it here uh, on the floor, when you want to play it like in the lying position and so on. And then you go here, just you can con you can use the controllers of the quest, but you can also use game controllers like uh, Wired Gamepad or Bluetooth Gamepad. Yeah, then click here. And here, here's the game. Yeah, here's the game. You can just play it. Everything is in 3D. You, you cannot see it because it's a 2D video on YouTube now. But uh, that's that's really awesome. Yeah, it's really awesome. You can play all the games. Uh, I'm sorry that I cannot show you the uh, AAA games like Animal Crossing or Super Mario 3D. That doesn't work, of course, uh, because it's not legal to show it. But uh, yeah, you can play everything you want. And the cool thing is you will not need a PC right now. Only once to, to install uh, Citra VR and then copy the files. So you can go for vacation, copy um, 50 games on it, and then you can play all your cool games uh, when you are not at home. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, so all the things you need, so the download for Citra, uh, side quest, and the tutorial link you can find in the description below. Yeah, I hope, I really hope you liked the video. If yes, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Wurde.de, 